I'm Kelly Sear and I teach grade 5 6 French Immersion here at Chibucto Heights. What I wanted to do was I really wanted to motivate my students to really want to write and read in French language. So what I wanted to do was incorporate some technology because I was trying to engage them in things that they're interested in. Their technology, their phones, their iPads. So I thought well let's take their interests and incorporate it into our literacy here. So it all started by using the Sphero robots and what they did was they wrote, they wrote a narrative story. They brought the story to life using the Sphero robots. They de designed and created a story map um, of the setting and Sphero was the main character. So we had from adventures of someone, a theft, to there was even a romance of two Sphero's went on a date. So it varied from many different topics, but they took a lot of pride in their stories. They took more effort in correcting and making sure there weren't any errors and stuff. And then they really collaborated and worked together as, as a team to bring the Sphero to life. And it was all done in the French language. My name is Miguel Dejard and I'm a French literacy coach. You know how adults sometimes we're a bit apprehensive, we don't know how it works, we think we're going to break it? Not for them. You give them an app, they'll work together, they'll talk it through and they'll figure it out and they'll go even deeper than you thought. So that piece was really nice. And then connect, connecting it with the literacy, all the oral language, it was really nice too because it's um, uh, students teaching students but also students teaching teachers and so you don't have that top down the teacher as the all-knowing you know person in front of the room so that was really nice because they take ownership because it's there where they were so excited to move into working with the Spiro we were able to bring them back and say oh but first we need to correct this or we need to make sure this is right and they were motivated to really work through those pieces. My writing got better because I understood it would act it out and I would understand it more. Because it's funner than writing. It's talking and making movies. It's acting. We all love. I feel like I'm excited because it's really fun. I liked how we are allowed to choose how we wanted to express our stories. If we wanted to do the Spiros, then we could do Spiros, and if we wanted to do Scratch, then we could do that. What they're doing now is all the different technology pieces they've learned throughout the year, they have chosen their own final project. And then we're gonna showcase those at the end. So we have the iMovie, Spiros, Green Screen, um, some are writing a book, and they get to pick which one is best for them. Um, most of them I found have chosen Scratch. It allows the students to either create their own video game or design their story, and it's all done through coding. The best part was of the project was coding. You choose your background and characters. I like using the clay because um, it's really creative. I just like being artistic. And so you had art in there too, as well as language arts, as well as technology. So you were really, um, and also working together in a nice, kind way. You know, there's, you know, when you work in a group, sometimes it can be challenging. So there was all that. So, so many things together, which is really nice. They're excited. They're motivated. Um, they're problem solving more on their own. So if something's not working, they're like, what can we do to fix it? I just kind of supported them where they needed some help. Um, but really, they did it all on their own. Uh, the teacher doesn't have to be the expert, right? So some of the kids, they've surpassed my skill levels right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm also learning from them. It was amazing. 